Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Welcome back to 90 Degree Radio. I'm your host, Slate to the Rock. Sky Blue. Liney D. Good. He's still grasping at his new name. Oh, man, he likes it, though. Like, yeah. He likes it. He's like, hey. hey, I'm going to go get a name tag with I this. think so. A shirt. We're going to see like, more of Dickie's outfit. What have the kids calling me that? He's like, who's that guy? He's Liney D. Right. We got to do the remix. Go on, honey, go, go. <laughs> it's gonna be my intro. Right. That's gonna be your intro. We're going. So back from our break, we are going into the Honda Battle of the Bands recap. Yeah, man. We said we were gonna start with <clears throat> Jay. The openers. Right. Well, no, no. no. Let's, Let's start with real quick. No, 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 no. The preliminary events. Yeah, yeah we can. Yeah. So you can't. We got to talk okay. about. It. Oh, let me, let me, let me read up for those people who are just joining us. Let me read. The lineup for this year. Because mm-hmm. we talked about the controversy, you know, every year, everybody always says, oh man, I ain't going to that, blah, 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 blah. And then everybody shows up. 50, 60,000 people show up. Exactly. Right. All right. Big walk up crowd. You know, in in, uh, in marketing, people don't like walk up crowds who are sponsoring the events, but. Because you can't measure. Right? Yeah, you can't measure. You don't have your money up front. You get your money on event day, but they still keep doing it nonetheless. Mm-hmm. Um, but big walk-up crowd. So here we go. Jackson State University, Virginia State University, then it was South Carolina State, then it was Albany State, it was Winston-Salem State, then it was Tennessee State University, followed by Prairie View A&M, and the show wrapped up with Bethune-Cookman University. You better not forget that you. Mm. And I don't mm. use that you loosely. <laughs> we work hard for that you. University. <laughs> All these years later. Man, I got. I just got. I got to shout it out. You know, I'm a family grad to my heart. Mm. But I got to shout out with Thune Cookman because I have seen the progression. I've seen the progression. Mm-hmm. You know, and not to say that they were so. You know, when you see that, hear that, people use it like, oh, they must have been terrible. No, it's just good to see a black college turn from a college to a university. You know, those mm-hmm. credentials. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's more money for the school. It's more money You're for the school. More students to come in and actually mm-hmm. want to do their graduate studies there. Shout out to Donovan Wells, man, the director there. He does his thing. Who does he his does. thing? He really yeah. came in and, and 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 put that program in a different direction. Mm-hmm. And you saw the money come afterwards. You saw the uniforms. You saw the instruments. You saw the precision. You saw the musicality. Mm-hmm. All it those all, lines. all those things went in a different direction when Donovan Wells got there and. And now they are Bethune Cookman University. Is he right? post marching men of Cookman? Yes, I think okay. he is post marching yes. men. Yeah, he's post marching okay. men. Because I keep hearing all these infamous marching men of Cookman stories, right. but I've yet yeah. to see a video. I marching see men, well, I've seen a couple of videos of the. Were you across the field from them? No. <laughs> 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 Now, now. Uh, anybody else, I would have been like, <laughs> wait a minute, more. <laughs> but only because it's Samantha I can laugh. <laughs> Samantha and her big readers have <laughs> brought down my car. Oh, we're we're, we're, we're in a good mood. We're in a good mood right now. Oh, yeah, we're in a good mood. No, I was not across the field from them. <laughs> I was watching videotape of one of their percussion long sections. Long time ago. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. They were serious, though. They were serious. I've, I've uh, not really come across on these boards. I've mm. met people that have marched for said marching men of Cookman, and they talk Sid. about, you know, they talk about how the program was and the how it's different. But my thing is, you know, from the outside looking in, mm-hmm. the program is exceptional to me. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. I don't know what they were looking at. Right. So clearly, right. you know, I don't know what you can right. go from. And you think that all oh, the pro- program, but of course, that's with any program. All alumni think that it's not like yeah. it was when we were there. Yeah, that's what they all have that delusion. You're right. It's not like you were. It's better, <laughs> and it's better because you're gone. <laughs> that, that's what it is. You left. It got better. For every alumni that says it ain't like it was when I was there, this is my response to you. You're right. You were the person making it bad, and as soon as you left, it got better. So yeah. to all alumni, do not use that statement. Just, just don't. Just right. kill it. Right. Just like what's there. Just like the product has become. Exactly. You can say you're proud of that. Right. Anyway, we're, we're, we're gonna. The fact you, that you it's know still what? in existence and successful it, and there good you go. is a testament in itself. But you know what else I hate? I hate this is a whole alumni thing. Well, it's not even an alumni thing. We were the last of a dying breed. Yeah, like that. all that. Every class says it's like that. y'all the Mohicans or something. Right, right. <laughs> Stop right. it. But come on, Stop yeah, it. You're, not like right. you're not Native American. Right. You're not Aztecs. You're not Mayans. <laughs> Stop it. Just just stop it. Everybody has this way of glorifying their class, glorifying themselves. 
Stop it. <laughs> it's not an epic battle. <laughs> we were the Mesozoic era of watching it. Right. You never go back to that. Right. You never be that. <laughs> right. It just sounds funny. It's like it's a fan. Right. You went to school, you marched. Right. And, you graduated. Well, some of them didn't graduate, but they left, you know? They left. Right. And they're gone now. You left, you got a job, you know, whatever and, you did. And the next batch of kids came And in. the next ones came through. That's how it works. Jeez. I agree with you, man. Just stop. I, yeah, I don't want to hear that in reference to the band anymore. We were the last that would die and breathe. It's like band, man. Come on. It's a band. <laughs> Your instruments. And not the planet of the age. It's, you know, it's, it's right. a band. Caesar is home. Y'all are playing on the same instruments that they were playing on then. The instrument yeah. has not evolved right. from what it was. Right. Sousaphone then is the same sousaphone it was for real. Just so we're, we're gonna take the time right now. Nine degree what? Uh, nine degree weather. weather? Yeah, how, how about radio? Well, it is. <laughs> in, in, yeah, Georgia, it's warm. in Georgia, in yeah. Georgia, uh, nine degree radio. Right now, we're gonna put that to rest. Last of a dying breed right. is now dead. Y'all well, as it pertains to band, it is dead. Yes, it's dead. Yeah, and speaking when you say ninety degree weather, I mean it looks gorgeous outside. Yeah, we have beautiful. a gorgeous view from where we are. And I just want to say thank you right now to global warming. For us having <laughs> 70 degree temperatures in Al Gore, you were wrong. Thank you, global warming. Yeah, Al Gore, you know what you're talking wrong. about. That's why you never right. made president. Right. right. <laughs> Who needs Thank you to the global warming. Thank you. I'm enjoying it. I, I who wore a jacket to. today? Right. Nobody. We, we, Polar bears right. are mad, but who cares? Right. <laughs> who cares about them? It's all about us. Who cares about their habitat? They don't even come out when you go to the zoo. They hate you like you're crazy. Exactly. So we went in the You guys are not funny when you go to the zoo. So right. anywhere right. it goes, I hate going to your little area. I don't care about the heart of the penguins. I don't. <laughs> yeah, we don't. But Happy Feet was a good movie. It was. <laughs> How do we get the happy feet? What's going on here? <laughs> what happened to JSU? All right, let's, okay, go, back. let's, let's go. go back. Let's All go right. back. Let's go back. So, the beginning of the Hunter Battle of the Bands this year, the 10th year. All right. I don't know what it was, but I feel like that people are equating marching band with Greek life. Because mm -hmm. this is what you had. Starting the Honda Battle of Bands, there was a Pee Wee football game going on. Uh, yeah. on the, and you know what? I'm, I'm going to be honest. I am a diehard Falcons fan. Yeah, I hold so season tickets. I, I love the Falcons to my heart. But that okay. Pee Wee game was the best game I have seen on that field at George <laughs> Dome in a long time. The little boys was, I mean, they were doing the absolute most, but with the best. And I enjoyed it. Yeah. So much, I think all the fans, like, we were supposed to be watching the cues and the, as the announcer said, Alpha Kappa Psi. Not Kappa Alpha Psi, alpha, but Alpha Kappa Psi. Kappa Psi. He Is that like a, a white pharmacy? Pharmacy. Pill by pill. All right, uh, what's really going but on? Yeah, so the, the Kappas and the cues were on the other end in the end zone. They were stepping. And, and and then suddenly at the end of the game where the kids were playing, which was a good game by the way, if you were there, yeah. Suddenly you heard, okay, so halftime is game time. Y'all are so cliche. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I guess I was just confused because I'm like, it's a football game going on. It's people stepping. I'm like, okay, what's next? Is somebody gonna come in the middle field and start frying fish? <laughs> What, what are we? Are we reliving homecoming right. here? Like, what's going on? He did I didn't make mention of homecoming. He did say something about homecoming, okay. but at that point, I yeah. But I don't yeah, need I to gone. see that at the Honda Battle of the Bay. I was gone. I was gone. I went to the bathroom. So it was like, yeah. oh, this is my bathroom break. Okay, right. let me go. It was yeah. That I think I was on Twitter and I was looking at everybody. Was like, why is this going on? What is? Why there are only eight bands start on time? Right, we right, started forty five right. minutes after after, the fact. after three o'clock. Isn't that what time started? Like yes, three, mm -hmm. three o'clock. And poor yeah. Jackson State just stood. Oh, there they are the so disciplined the yeah. entire time. Is that the Liddell just era? Waiting. Was yeah, that the Liddell okay. was there? Yeah. So, okay, so I will give this to him. That band came out there. The drum majors did there. Let me place my maces where they're supposed to go before mm -hmm. we do our magical lifting. Right. right. They they lined them up perfectly <laughs> straight. Lift. They were in the end zone. The band was in the end zone for 20 minutes. We timed it. Mm -hmm. They were in the end zone for 20 minutes. Not like, you know, they were in parade rest, but not like a rest rest. They were like in parade rest. Mm -hmm. They weren't moving. They were standing perfectly still like while all this rest. extra mm -hmm. bull was like going on. Like you would on. do in a parade. Yeah, and I'm sitting here like, oh, these guys are so disciplined. Like, seriously. Mm -hmm. So I would give kudos to Jackson State for that because that was awesome because I personally would have been like, what the like, I'm sure they were like, what? <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> like, they were, yes, they were, 
<laughs> after dark. Right. <laughs> but yeah, they, they did that. Mission uncut. So, <laughs> Sam gets dirty. <laughs> so, Jackson State comes on in their usual form, and I just give my little feedback because I am a fan. God forbid, groupie for their drum majors. They are awesome. These are the one of the best known drum majors in marching band, historical black college marching marching bands. Anyway, the guys came out. They had they were full of energy. Mm -hmm. um, of course, of course, they they played their anticipated get ready for them to come out because that is their song. Right. So people expect that. But the drum majors came out, <laughs> did their thing, led the band onto the field. Guys, what, what's your take? Man, I, I gotta say. Listen, this is coming from a FAMU drum major. I'm a FAMU drum major to my heart. When I was about to finish high school, I applied to two schools. One was Florida a and The second was Jackson State. Mm -hmm. I had dreams and visions of grandeur to be a <laughs> drum major at Florida a University. But I said that for some reason, my family history didn't play into it, <laughs> and I did not get accepted into Florida a and I was going to Jackson State to be a drummer. <laughs> so with that being said, I'm a band head first. This is a completely unbiased opinion, but I do think that Jackson State has the most exciting drum majors in the game. I would agree. I would That's agree. just the bottom line. I agree. Now, there are some things that they do that I don't necessarily agree with. <laughs> and here we go. <laughs> and one of them being, and I'm going to let you all piggyback me over here. here. We go. Uh, it's just like, oh, I'm marching down the field. I'm, ah, uh, ah, uh, sexy one. Section one, they got these little things they do. Uh -huh. You know, I heard an old school Jackson State drum major calling out these little things. They marching down, they going all down, they doing the Dominique, where they do this thing and get their hands out. <laughs> these are all drum major turns. They killing, then they yeah, killing. Way. It's when they, they get the knees up real high, they killing. Mm -hmm. They killing, and everybody's going crazy. And then they just like, oh, I'm gonna take my baton and give it to the person on the sideline. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna take a little break. You got a little water yeah. cooler. They're gone. Water cooler chatter. <laughs> you turn your head and they're, they're gone. They're gone. They're on the sidelines and everybody just, I don't know what they're doing. They're fixing hair. <laughs> chatting it up. They're just chatting it up around the water cooler. You know around what? the water cooler. There is not that much to do in Jackson, Mississippi. So the drum majors are, they're, they're bringing that to light. They're saying, you know what, we don't have a lot going on here. So when, when we're marching off the field, we're trying to find other things to bring back to the field. Because clearly, because you notice they bring, the attention starts with the drum majors, right? Right. Drum majors come off. Can anybody tell me what the first song they they that they was drilled to? Blowing. It was blowing, but mm -hmm. what was the song? With get ready. No, after no. get ready, that was a given. Exactly because your attention, <laughs> your attention was focused on the drum majors. Drum majors go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there they there to go, and then the band is playing something which you're supposed to be focused on. But because they're talking to each other. Exactly, they're dapping each other up. Okay, why are they sweating? They're walking off. It's mm -hmm. like you know, and your, I love. You know what? That's a good point. Your attention. Follows the drum majors because yeah. it was so exciting, mm -hmm. and then they just and, then, and now they're gone. They just break it down. I'll be going down the fourth again. Now we cruising <laughs> off the sideline, <laughs> on to the sideline. The energy comes back maybe like the third drill, yeah. right before you get mm -hmm. to concert selection and then dance routine. Yep, that's my biggest complaint about Jackson State's drum majors. Yeah, the breaks. Other than that, y'all are y'all are the best, man. That's mm -hmm. what it is. Y'all yeah. are the most exciting. Drum majors, your style, mm -hmm. just the energy, the choreography, mm -hmm. it's exciting. The only people in terms of excitement, I thought, during a certain time of their tenure, I thought Prairie View's drum majors were coming close mm -hmm. some years ago, but something changed. Something. You know? I don't know if it's the band director, the... the that the, was the last of the dying breeds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, Sam, now, oh. now, now, oh. wait. Kill Samantha. <laughs> now, Kill oh. Samantha. I thought we had an agreement <laughs> that... Oh, <laughs> agreement. <laughs> The treaty. I brought the treaty. I brought the treaty. I brought the treaty. I'm sorry. I just, I'm, I'm just gonna say what that drum major who probably thinks you're talking about. You know, <laughs> he said like he's talking about. I, that was me. I was, I was on that field. That. that was me. That was that hunter. I came. That was mm -hmm. it. I was that was the one I came. Because <laughs> you know, because because we don't see prayer people outside right. of y'all coming here. Right. Right. Yeah, I don't right. even remember you all coming to Alabama ever. <sighs> but anyway, yeah. moving on. 
<laughs> well, what, what's your what's your take, right. good? You know, um, <clears throat> Jackson State. Not only do I believe they have the uh, most exciting drum majors, I actually believe that their band as a whole is pretty exciting. You know, the the pageantry, pageantry excuse me, the movements, the dancers, the J sets are very exciting as well. So right. I think they have a full package. It's just very exciting. Same thing you said. The whole going to the sideline and getting a drink of water, I, I just can't get with it. Right. But um, as far as the the Honda performance, they came out kind of kind of soft spoken, kind of weak, and I was worried at first, but they turned it up. When they got to the uh, the the slow number, okay. uh, Tina Turner, "What's Love Got to Do with It?" Okay. Ironically, mm -hmm. that's when they got crumped during the slow number. Yeah, it is kind of. I funny. will give a shout out to the whales, aka the sousaphones. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! Jackson State calls their uh, sousaphone whales. Yes. Oh. I was about to say it's Fan Muish. Yeah. yeah, white whales or mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah. Well, fam, you cause there's the white whales. I know. Yeah, that's some, well, I know there's a whale somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> there's a whale. There are whales out there. What's There's it? a wheel somewhere in there. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta fact check that. Yeah, yeah well, let me check. Let's, let's it that might down. be my beer garita. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it, it might, might be. be that. But I'm. Mm, war. war Letters W something. Okay. Something the, with a W. Yeah, the players from Jackson. The yeah, players. We'll just go with that. But they did a very awesome job. Um, I'm trying to recall because it's been all two weeks. Like my mind is gone. But um. <laughs> They were the, the baseline was wonderful there, and it was so clean. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's not rare because I would hope that at a collegiate level that people can have a clean baseline. But it, <laughs> for a swag band, if you've ever been to a swag game, you hear yep. loudness, but loud. you don't hear clarity. You don't hear cleanness. These guys were clean. Mm -hmm. They they did mm -hmm. justice. They actually. I hate to say this, and I'm gonna hear a lot of backlash from this. Hey, you know what I'm talking controversial here. But, uh, I'm gonna say it. I would say this. Face. Um, with all of the sweat, my, my top two favorites would be Southern and Jackson State. Mm -hmm. And I say Southern because you hear everything they're playing. Oh, yeah, you ain't got no choice. Absolutely. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. You don't have a choice but to hear what right. Southern is playing. But with that being said, it's not like I'm hearing somebody yelling at me like this and I don't know what they're saying. No, I yeah, hear I every enough. Some people would disagree with you when it comes to Southern Band. Oh, oh okay. You're right. You're right. You're probably one of them. No, um, I'm just saying. Yeah. But Jackson really, they, I think they did the swag justice because there's always this argument, the me at swag thing. Mm -hmm. Right. So they really, I did, they think they did a very, very wonderful thing. And their baritones and their French horns. Freaking awesome! Whoever yeah. did that arrangement of what's love got to do it? It was Good awesome. Deal. It was. I awesome. did it. It was Good like deal. two thumbs up. I yeah. really yeah. loved it. Um, you know what's funny about Jackson State is Jackson State had a different sound um, back in the '90s, even in the beginning of the 2000s, and then slowly but surely, their sound started to mimic Southern sound. Sound. Mm -hmm. Now, even though they're completely, you know, different in terms of what they do on the field. Jackson State started to sound more like Southern during those times, but in the past few years, they're getting back to the <laughs> that original Jackson State sound that used to happen when I first started right, hearing. Right. You know, and I like that because, <clears throat> of course, HBCUs we understand in terms of the band world, it's such a delicate balance. Yeah, it is. And if one program shifts their focus, it could change the whole makeup of the whole balance. Right. So I like to hear originality. Not to say that they're not original now, but I think a lot of bands kind of changed their sound, you know, right around 2000, and everybody started going for more volume. And that's across the board. Yeah. That's SWAC, that's MEAC, SIAC. You know, a lot of people started going with front bell baritones. Those weren't always very popular in terms of marching band culture. A lot of people started going with the front bells, you know, and it kind of changed the sound. Not to say that it's bad. <laughs> But I think I hear, for whatever reason, I hear Jackson kind of at least doing something different to go back to what their original sound was. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Yeah, what was what was interesting to me about Jackson, which actually made me a fan of Jackson in the first place, is their deep, their uh, attention to balance. Right. Now, that's not really something that you hear a lot in the swack. You know, balance is just every section going for broke, which usually right. ends up with baritones <laughs> destroying every other section yeah. in the band. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but see, Jackson State, they caught my attention. Maybe it's my MIAC upbringing. You know, they were very balanced, and that's right. what made me a fan of Jackson in the first place. And like you said, I think it was possibly when Liddell left for mm -hmm. um, his hiatus that things started going a little 
off the edge <laughs> for Jackson State. But since he's been back and since their debut at the Honda Battle of the Bands, I'm very pleased with the direction they're obviously going back into. Right. Okay, so real quick, I had our intern go run out and do... Yeah, we have interns. <laughs> <laughs> I had our sure. intern go out and do some research. Uh-huh. <clears throat> So the, the tuba section is called Tuba Dogs. I, tuba dogs. Oh. And by intern, Samantha means her fingers <laughs> looking it up on, on my Twitter. <laughs> I did a little research on oh, Instagram's Facebook page. Right. And I know She's going to call her Emily. So. Our intern. Emily. Interns now. You guys have Suri. I have Emily. Yeah, so. we, em, Emily is our intern here <laughs> at 90 Degrees Radio. True thanks, a, thanks a lot, Emily. <laughs> so anyway, overall, man, a great showing from Jackson State University. Yeah. Great like way to you start. said, Lonnie, Lonnie, be good. Like you said, I thought that they were just a little bit weak coming out too. Mm-hmm. Not as exciting as I'm used to seeing them right. come out. Right. And that could have been because of the 45 minutes you took <laughs> for the show to start. Exactly. Possibly. You were waiting yeah. on the playoff game from that Pee Wee. That'll do. Right. Right. Playing. Like, you right. Know, it was, uh, it was it's something about the We it still have to wait there. for the football game, dude. Go to halftime. Because right. like, halftime. There is isn't such thing as being overexposed. Time. When the band comes out, they sit there for 20 minutes. Part of the excitement is the entrance. Because they did come out of the tunnel. Everybody was cheering. Right. That was that, that was something I noticed. When they came out of the tunnel mm-hmm. originally, when people saw them coming to the field to line up, everybody right. was excited. They were like, oh, man. Yeah. And then suddenly, we had to wait 20 minutes to see right. you guys. Because if, if you've ever seen a Jackson State entrance at any football game or any battle, when they come in the stadium, it's so much energy. Oh, man, it's Pandemonium. crazy. So much energy. It's crazy. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm going, I'm going to blame that on the fact that they had to stand in the end zone and be exposed for 20 minutes. Right. But, but I, they definitely made up for it. They, they, did. Did. they, they did. did. They did. I think that it was a great opener. Yeah. However. <laughs> When we go into the second band that followed them, oh, it's goodness. not great for the second band. <laughs> but it was, oh, it was, it started off the show like, okay, you guys, we, we got energy. This is the tenth annual. We are about that life. Another uh-huh. phrase we don't know what it means, but about we, that life, right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll research that too. We'll Let's get Emily, that that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. get Emily on that. Yeah, get Emily on it. Yeah. Now yeah. I was kind of glad that Jackson State. Uh, well, I was upset that they were going first, mm-hmm. but uh, you know, I had a little trouble parking. So I was. So uh, you made it. I made it, and I saw them. I came right with about ten minutes left in the Pee Wee, uh, the Glenwood Hills, <laughs> <laughs> playing Ben Hill. Yeah, yeah. Right. For Glenwood Hills versus yeah. Ben Hill <laughs> football game. Yeah. <laughs> so I was, I was happy about that fact. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, we don't need 45 minutes for right. the people right. who had to take a little extra time parking. And, and then, I really think they were waiting on the host to get there. And then another yeah. thing, um, I, and I'll just get off of this. Like, mm-hmm. if you're gonna have. Greeks or sorority stepping at a band event. You know we actually have you band know, Greek. You <laughs> take a side or five mu out right. or sigma out anybody. 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 Gosh, you can uh, use the band aids. Right. I don't care. <laughs> the like, have. Uh, that just you know what? And then the, the guy they had a guy at some point. The, the guy that acted in. Stop the yard. Yeah. yeah. Did we not have an entire movie that was Drum filmed line. in yeah. the dome? Yeah. I'm gonna tell you, I'd much rather see the KK side skate in the top of the signal. I I'd much rather see them do that too. skate. I would too. I think that's one of the crunkiest moves in, in very, stepping right now. And I would say this, I've tried to slide and skate and I can't do I look like a special needs person <laughs> on coffee. I, on I would coffee. say this. Like like this is I think you have to be a talented person to do that. And every person I know when they're doing it, they're they're like into it. Right. And me trying to focus and do it. <laughs> So yeah, Honda. Next time, how about y'all use the bands, uh, whoever, sororities, and fraternities? Whoever's doing the research, we have, those. we have those. They've been around for a long time, and I think you've seen them because they step in the stands oh, at Honda, or yeah. or at the end, they always do this huge yeah. circle. It's about two hundred of them. Yeah, yeah. You can't miss them. Blue jackets, them point yeah. time. <laughs> red <Right>. jackets. <laughs> just don't throw it out there. Yeah, <laughs> they're there. Just, just a suggestion, you <laughs> yeah, know. Just, a little just something to think about. <laughs> yeah. So, second second band. Second band was Virginia <coughs> State University. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> are they are they the uh, <coughs> Virginia VSU was the marching Trojans? Trojans. Trojans. I want to say Trojan Trojans. explosion. I think the Trojan explosion. These Trojan explosion. Names Another are inappropriate so name. Is this inappropriate? <laughs> for us? Trojan explosion <laughs> makes me think some, of something yeah, else. Yeah, I don't want associated that to happen. with uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, just purple like Moving it's. on. <laughs> So, but, I mean, we know them in the marching band world to be Virginia State University's mm-hmm. marching Trojan explosion. They're mm-hmm. orange, bright orange. Bright they orange. Bright orange. With navy blue, is that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, navy is it navy blue? blue? I think navy, it's navy, navy blue. blue. Great um, looking uniforms. They have had some uh, very uh, good. 
I like they the just colors. got new uniforms. I like the colors. They just got new uniforms. They just got new uniforms yeah. this year. And um, we were discussing this in the stands. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's on our clip, bandroomnation.com. Yep. So we noticed as we were downstairs checking in. What did you notice? That the uniforms for Virginia State University, um, they had flaps. <laughs> ruffles, ruffles, even. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, no, they, oh, they do that. Yes, they had shirt. ruffles on oh, the, the shirts. <laughs> then talk about the capes. Oh, and the capes. Oh, gosh. Okay, so. <laughs> and, and, and let me be good, man. Very good point. If we were in an outside field, all of them would have flown off. Just flown, flown, flown away. If we had a win, like something in Chicago, mm-hmm. that would have been mm-hmm. gone. Like, it looked like Mighty uh, Mouse. Me- there you go. Mighty Mouse. It Mighty Mouse. The yeah, case, yeah. and then it were cases that didn't move. They were like. So what yeah, was wrong with the case? I mean, were they too long? They were. They, they were huge. They were this. They were like. This, 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 <laughs> this, 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 really big case. Like you everybody had a drum major case. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Everyone really had a really big. Case. Really big. Uh, what's that shape? Four quadrilateral. Trapezoid. Trapezoid. Something or another. Parallelogram. Uh, it was like one of those, yes. and it was huge with stuff on the back, and then you right. had the you had the ruffles in the front, mm-hmm. ruffles right there, and the the cape in the back, mm-hmm. and so of course it's really distracting. It really is, yeah. and then you need the colors, you know, orange. You came from school, orange, yeah. so of course it's, a, it's an attention getter. <laughs> you do understand that, you orange guy. So what about the performance? What did you think about the performance? Okay, right. well, um, oh, oh, <laughs> hesitation there. All right, well, okay, I can't tell you anything else they did, but I do remember the marching choir. The marching they choir. Had the choir. They had the choir. And you call them the marching choir because I do remember them being on the sideline the entire time and they were marking time. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> like the choir didn't come on until the concert selection. Mm-hmm. Concert but, selection was. Uh, but as they waited. As they waited, they were marking time the entire time. Mm. I, that, I was like, wow, they, they're dedicated. They, if nothing they, uh, else. You know what? Right. They did more marching than the Jackson State drum majors. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to agree with you there. But you know what? Coming up later on, they did. They certainly did more marching than another set of drum majors, which Uh-oh. I shall name Uh-oh. later on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here we go. Uh-oh. Yes, indeed. But yeah, so, okay. they, mar- they were talented. They really did mark time the entire time. That had to be like at least... 168 counts. <laughs> it, it was. I, um, I feel like a pre drill. It was a pre drill. Like freshman, we're gonna get you right, and this is this right. is this is what you're gonna do for all the right. practice. This is this is what your task is. But I will say, um, I think because they followed ja- um, Jackson State, mm-hmm. yeah, and it was like Jackson State came out with all this energy, and they were so booming, and they sounded so well. They did that sideline blowout. Mm-hmm. So yeah. you anticipated Virginia State coming on, following it. Mm-hmm. That didn't, that didn't happen for me. Um, they right. just kind of came on. Yeah. Right. You know, it's like we're here. We're marking ourselves present, signing ourselves in. <laughs> <laughs> like we're going to write our name on the list and we're going to walk right back out. That's mm-hmm. what I felt when they came on. And I only remember, which is really sad because I'm the pretty choir. sure they did. The, I don't remember the choir yeah. because yeah. I was looking like. When are they getting off the field? When is the choir <laughs> getting off the field? And I'm pretty sure I'm not going to take away from you guys sounding good because someone did tell me you sounded good. I will, I will say someone said that. They did sound good. <laughs> okay, see, look. From what I can so, hear, they sounded good. Co-host, who I take his word, yeah. is gold. He yeah, said well. you guys sounded good. So I'm not going to take that away, but I will say that because of your placement, it's like product placement. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was sabotage. It, it, it really sounded like, it's like, I don't anticipate seeing you guys next year. Sorry. Um, yeah. yeah, it's kind of funny that you mentioned product placement because you cannot place the Fruit Loops on the shelf and then right next to them or under them put the fruit spools. <laughs> <laughs> so the fruit wheels. Fruit wheels. Now. <laughs> fruit wheels. Only fruit. in a bad economy will people pay attention fruit to the fruit it's wheels. It's like Frosted Flakes and Flicky Frost. Right. You can't do that. But <laughs> what I'm saying is that I'm not trying to call Virginia State the fruit spools of marching band. Well, you just did. You did, and we're going to have emails. Um, Let me track that. We're going to that's, have not, that's not the point of my analogy. <laughs> Thank you very much, Slate Rock, for all what the I'm saying is, emails we will be receiving. What I'm saying General is Mills Jackson State. Help. Right, General. <laughs> what I'm saying is that Jackson State should not have been first. Mm. Jackson State agree. should not have been first. Yeah. 
It should have been uh, maybe Winston Salem or Albany, Albany State should have yeah. been first. Winston Salem. Albany right. because they were a state school, maybe. Yeah. They right. were from the state of Georgia. What did you yeah. say last year? Right. Why well, we always had Clark Atlanta in there? It's just good to have a school with the name Atlanta in it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. But I, I mean, yeah. it was just right. like Jackson just raised the bar. And really again, high. Uh, yeah. Why would you? Staff, I just don't understand why would you do that. Honda right. staff, when you're doing this, please have someone from the band world. Yeah, right. like. Uh, like Line to Be Good or Slave yeah, Rock or you know. Sky Blue. I mean, yeah. I anybody from Bayonne Nation. We're consultants, right. right? We're great consultants. Great, very, really good fee. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm just saying, <laughs> just just have someone help yeah. with the, the, the lineup the, yeah. because that's just that's not. Things are supposed to get progressively better. It's a yeah. build up. It's a build up. It is a build up. Because to be totally honest, that would have been a hard spot to fill, even even for the Great Bethune Cookman University. You know, to follow that sideline blow down with all of the energy that um, Jackson State left on that field. Right. Poor Virginia State didn't have a chance. They they didn't, they didn't have a chance. It was just bad. It was bad placement. And I mean, that's not to take away from their performance. Exactly. Like right. I said, I I'm pretty sure you guys did well, but I was still stuck. Yeah, I didn't see it. on the south. I did so, a wonderful job. I think I was eating. Or so something. I let Slate give his commentary because I don't want to sound like I just. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was I was just gonna say it's funny about Virginia State. The funny thing I was hearing up in the suite was that sweet. I know, right? Plug that. <laughs> funny. Excuse me. Anyway, girl. Well, listen, what, well, what, well, you all had an exclusive area as well. Yeah. But the funny thing, it was just a bunch of band heads from all collective HBCUs. Mm -hmm. And the thing that I hear about Virginia State every year is that, man, they are much bigger now than they are during the season. Uh -oh. oh, that's what people always say about them. You know what that means. So that was still, you know, just like a. That was still. I, I heard some talk about that. Lonnie, what does some, that mean? Some chatter. Yeah, well, usually, chatter, some usually, chatter. usually, when people say things like that, that means that said band recruits or gets their their people from from another area for that specific event. So so you might not have people who are just. What's a neighboring school there? Uh, Virginia Commonwealth. Um, university or you know just some some kids from somewhere you recruit for that specific event so mm -hmm. you have more numbers for a better look not saying that's what virginia state did but that's just They're, usually yeah. what that chatter because leads we, to. we don't yeah. play them do you guys we don't and i'm in atlanta so okay right. so, i don't know what's going on up there and so. if they were to do that i mean i know that's kind of breaking the rules mm -hmm. Because it's Bad not those rule. the collegiate students yeah. playing. Right. It's not those students showing what they're doing right. now. I mean, right. if you said, "Hey, all alumni, we got Honda this year. Come back," mm. I'm like, definitely not. Do what you do. Right. <laughs> do what you do. It's Honda, and the truth of the matter is, it's a lot of exposure. And if you do something to build your numbers, it might result in you getting more funding recruiting. and more yeah, that's recruiting. True. Mm -hmm. That's true. So if you look at it from that angle, I don't. I don't it's, see a business, wrong. Yeah, it's a business. Yeah, it's about to say business move. It's, it's a business. It is a business thing. move. Look at Once again, State. not not However, saying that it does not take away from those capes y'all described. <laughs> <laughs> or the choir. Because the they, they clearly got more money for more uniforms. Right. right. It, it came clearly. from somewhere. <laughs> okay, so. Now, y'all were talking earlier about the the choir. I was not a fan. Honestly, the. Yeah, um, we, got some, we got some opposing I, I'm reviews. A, I'm, on a the fan, choir. I'm a fan of gimmicks. I'm not. So to speak. So to speak. It depends. Okay, because first, here's my, here's my view on any kind of gospel song. I guess because I'm from Georgia where all bands are great and that is the final word. Um, <laughs> I'll agree with that. <laughs> I, but because of that, I'm used to seeing we use these um, gospel songs like if someone is passed, if we're honoring somebody, or it's, it's a popular a tribute, song. Right. You know, it, 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 we don't just randomly do it. Like right. the Apollo method where I need to get house. <laughs> we're not going to make it. Right. So we need to play a gospel song because right. they're not going to boo a gospel song. Like That's that. how I feel when other Nobody people do it. Nobody gonna boo the Lord. Right. <laughs> exactly. So <laughs> I feel like job. when other people do it and it's just oh, just a regular, nothing fancy, nothing spectacular, I think you're doing it because you're trying to save your what you're doing, save right. face. Mm -hmm. Just versus extra applause. okay, you're you're celebrating somebody's life, you're celebrating something that happened, an mm -hmm. event, nine eleven, anything like that. Right. But that wasn't the case. Right. Like I could even if who died last year? Somebody, mm -hmm. Nate Dogg. If they would have came and did a gospel version of any of Snoop Dogg's songs featuring Nate Dogg, I would have been fine. I'll just say a gospel. <laughs> See, they, they would get house just oh, for that, for doing that. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. 
gospel had boy they, Nate Dogg or Snoop Dogg. I'm just saying. To get that out of my mind. <laughs> but that wasn't the case. It's like they took let's let's bring this choir whom they had to pay for the hotel room. I'm the sure. gospel <laughs> version of a Snoop Dogg or <laughs> Nate Dogg song. <laughs> I'm just saying. I just I don't like the use of a gospel song just randomly. If it's not right. a popular song. Like uh, like reason. okay, I say this. Don't cook and play smile. My little homie Jesus Christ had to regulate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, th- I'm still trying to get that out of my a gospel. <laughs> <laughs> Nate dog. This beer is real strong. This <laughs> <laughs> beer is real strong. I was okay with that. It sounded, it sounded really good though. It did. <laughs> I would buy that. So, <laughs> I, would, I, I would buy that. And you would. know what? We won't judge you either. We won't judge you. It's the no judgment but, okay. zone. Sky Blue's opinion. <clears throat> I really think that when people use a gospel song and it's not a popular song, when it's really common, it's just the same phase for what your, your band is sounding like. Again, okay. I can't tell you anything else Virginia State did. Yeah. Nothing else. Yeah, I, can, I can't either. I completely zoned out, and this is no disrespect. To, maybe it was because they performed to their back to the press box too, so you know they weren't really in your face. Maybe uh-huh. that had something to do with it. That's but I the really thing completely I don't zoned like about out. The Honda, the back the and forth thing. Yeah, back and forth, back and, back and, forth. and forth. Yeah, but you have to entertain it. both sides. Yes. You do. Yeah, you that, have to you entertain do. both sides. That you gotta do, do something. I yeah. think maybe I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but if you know you're coming to Honda, maybe you should have half your show this way, half your show. That, that, yeah, and I've seen somebody do that before where they played to both sides. I can't remember who it was, but somebody did that. Yeah, it's a good idea. It is a good idea. Everybody do your show to... You already hear first on BamRamNation.com. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what was uh, you guys' view on Virginia State overall? Well, like I said, I don't remember much from Virginia State at all. Um, I can't really tell you much that they did. And that's my view, and I'm sticking with it. All right, you don't remember much of what they did at all. You know what? Now I was, I was, uh, I saw them head on. You know, I'm one of those crazy people that when you perform to both sides, I'm gonna each time run around to the side that you perform it to. Really? <laughs> yeah. This guy. The dome is his fault. Right? Like, you burned a lot of calories. I really, really did. I really burned. <laughs> I've got to see this right. the way it's supposed really. to be seen. <laughs> right. I'm just one of those crazy people. Like if I were on the sideline, I would be walking around. Every time I would walk because I always want to hit a band from the front the entire okay, time. Right, I can understand that. They sounded great. Okay, well, see, there you go. All see, right. and in, in terms of the gospel, I certainly understand your mentality, like the Apollo mentality. I'm gonna come out here and sing a gospel song. I have a mediocre voice, and nobody will boo the Lord. Right. Exactly. You know, nobody gonna boo God. No one wants to go to hell. In, right. Until they the the make me. Of a boo. But in terms of the, in terms of the, how, how do I word this? Like, be careful. Yes, I have to be very careful here. <laughs> Just in terms of how gospel and the marching band have kind of, I don't know what to say. I don't know what how, how intertwined. To, uh, yeah, they they they've kind of intertwined in how how they have evolved. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There are a lot more gospel songs that are drill oriented. That's true. Now, true. Different tempo. You know, think of for instance Kirk Franklin's. You can do a drill to that. It's like marching tempo. Yeah, we drilled to that song. Yeah, right. So because of that, you're gonna get a lot more gospel music because gospel itself is really it's becoming evolving. more than just hand claps and hardwood and floors and, and choirs. Right. The music is evolving. Mm-hmm. It's a lot more melodic. It's a lot more hip hop oriented. It's mm-hmm. very true. You know. So because of that, you get a lot more variation. So bands can play more gospel music. There are better selections out there. That bands can use in several different areas of their repertoire. Mm-hmm. So in the drill, it's one of them, you know. But I don't quite think it worked that well for Virginia State. I mean, they had the choir it was a out drill. there. It was a choir. Yeah, but it it was it was a concert selection something. And it was a song that everyone didn't know. I still to this day don't know the name of the song that they performed. With it was choir. actually uh, Donald Lawrence mm-hmm. back to Eden. Ah, uh, that's what it was. I have to YouTube that. Have right. I had to pick it up and you know, when they got to the hook, you, hit you were running on it. the other side. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> and catching your breath. Right. I but, think I know this. <laughs> you know. Right. But I always made it, you know. I made it at the beginning. <laughs> And the drum major. I, ah, I missed the drum major feature, but that don't matter. I just <laughs> <laughs> puffing and puffing. But I made it. Mm, so the gospel The debate. gospel song was right. It was less back to Eden Don Lawrence. 
I don't know how great the arrangement was. Mm. Um, so I do mean, you think the choir took away from the band? Because then again, it's a marching band showcase. So. It is a marching band showcase. I would, I guess, I would have rather seen band members come from the ranks and do that. That would have uh, been awesome because we've always seen really good band members come out and either play the true. solo or sing. That's very true. Y'all know, it, the they go composed, hand in hand. Yeah, right. the band is composed of really good very musicians. Talented. The band is composed so Virginia, of great musicians mm-hmm. and singers. Vince, they probably would have been, had done very well had they grabbed like a tuba player and you, right. he came out there, got on the mic and just yeah, did right. that. That would have been awesome. And then, you know, had Eddie Long come out. And, uh, well, <laughs> you know, I don't know about Eddie Long um, <laughs> you know, because he's, he's, he's the king now. Right. He's the king now, so he's very busy. See, I feel so Kind of way about this. He's yeah. no longer a commoner, right? I, a, like the rest word. of us, he, right? You are no longer a commoner. He I don't know if he would have had the king. time. Oh, yeah, he's king now. Yeah. he is a king. Um, now. Uh, yeah, that, I mean, that's that, a fact. Yeah, fact. A Jewish guy said it, so it's yeah, fact. It's, it's fact. It's proven. Right. Yeah. It's law. Right. Yeah. He's a king, and he was wrapped in scrolls, so that pretty much was, seals the deal. Yeah, like that's a 200 it. Three hundred yeah. year old. Three hundred year old. Three hundred. And they yeah. hosted him above their shoulders and paraded him around. The okay. Anyway, yeah, he's, anyway. I mean, I mean, it's just it's just a fact. People. Yeah. It's legit. <laughs> it is not. It is a law in Latonia <laughs> that he is the king. He's the king of Atlanta. Yeah, the king. And they were able to enact that in Latonia and declare yeah. him and, king. And, and Ti was okay with that. Yeah, he totally. He, was he didn't have a choice. Ti knew about. He didn't have a choice. Ti has been. At the dorm with Newburgh yeah. on Easter Sunday, mm-hmm. they was talking about it then. So yeah. We just late. Yeah. yeah, that's all it was. Ti was in on it. Ti no. and Eddie Long he talked was, about that a long time ago, and he was like, "Hey, man, you know, you I'm are the Messiah, the money, mm-hmm. you're right. all this." Mm-hmm. <laughs> look, 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 Eddie Long was like, "Watch this, Ti. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> watch this. Oh, watch them lift me up. I'm gonna be the king." <laughs> And T.I. Uh, T. was like, hey, you All right. That's hey, great. Hey, on everything I love, folks. Everything Jay, I love. Yeah. <laughs> Give me life, y'all. For real? Give me my life, y'all. <laughs> and that's how it went down. That's how the conversation went down. And we just need to accept it and move on. You may move as well. Move on.org. You may as well. Amar.org. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another reality show. <laughs> right. He clearly watches with his wife. <laughs> 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 Okay, it is so okay. But uh, so Virginia State. Um, so Virginia State. Yeah. Um, yeah. Again, great performance, yeah. but I, I don't know if the choir deal. And I mean, I, I got to give the band, I, I have to give the band's prop. I, I talked to Taylor Whitehead, mm-hmm. you know, big band head. Uh, I think he's a former um, member of Virginia State, mm-hmm. marching the band, you know, does big things around the area. I always run into him in North Carolina, mm-hmm. you know, when I'm doing Battle of the Bands and stuff. Mm-hmm. Taylor Whitehead said, you know, Ten years in the making, it's getting really hard for the students to be original and make ideas that go over with the crowd. That's very true. You know, we were talking about it. Yeah, I talked about this with my partner Brian Snell, who's a you know music band head. That I bounce ideas off back and forth mm-hmm. all the time. It's like maybe there needs to be either a complete changeover, like you have eight bands or ten bands one year, and you have a completely different ten bands the next year. Mm-hmm. That would be good. Or maybe the Honda doesn't need to do it every year. Mm. Maybe, but yeah. I understand as well. People look forward to this yearly. You know, it's like a, for me, it's a holiday. Like, yeah, yeah, it is, is. a band head holiday. Band head is a band head holiday. And, and, it really is. and I dare anyone to judge me about it. I am okay with that side of my life. I love it and I enjoy it. I had so yeah. much fun yeah. on the weekend. I really think that the city, it's a Super Bowl could, for the, us. The, the city could make so much money from this weekend not even knowing. Like I, I they don't even realize it. You they know don't. what? Right. The band world is so underserved. And just overpopulated. I really. That's why we're here. That is why we. That's why Band Room Nation is. Mm -hmm. That's why we're here with Ninety Degree Radio Mm -hmm. to serve the band world. Mm -hmm. Because Because they're so what? what, They're so underserved. Underserved, Underserved, but overpopulated. We we are. Mm -hmm. There are so many musicians out there who we get slept on, contrary to what you believe. Mm -hmm. Musicians are like. The smartest people in the world. We can read music and words <laughs> to right. it out there. and march at the same time, like simultaneously. <laughs> right. Like we are multi-talented. So, yeah. but people just uh, anyway, I digress. So, um, good, good show in Virginia State. I just thought, you know, even even with them trying the, the choreography in the choir, mm-hmm. you know, they tried a gospel piece. There was some choreography going on. See, I missed all that. Because yeah, I was on down. I saw them. Yeah, it was like down. they were putting their arms around each other and the head movements was going back and forth. If you guys want to no, see thanks. firsthand what my reaction was. Yeah, there's a clip <laughs> that kind of shows. <laughs> yeah. 
Samantha and JK both get extremely frustrated at some point. <laughs> Very frustrated. <laughs> frustrated. <laughs> Trying to understand. Because we were just so, I don't know what to do with my hands, Ricky Bobby moment. Like, it was just one of those. I, guys. All right, the next band. Um, the next band is. Oh, this should be fun. Marching 101. The Marching 101. If you can't run with the big dog, then stay up under the porch. And let me tell you, if you've ever been to South Carolina, it's a lot of porches you can stay up under. <laughs> Y'all have to understand what that saying comes from. You stay yeah, up under the porch. See the get see, you life or Yeah, the get you life. You know, the old mm-hmm. school houses, they have cinder blocks. Okay. okay. The porch sits up under cinder blocks. The porch was always made out of some wood. The wood mm-hmm. was always worn out. Mm-hmm. And the wood sit the wood planks sit on top of the the cinder blocks. Mm-hmm. And they left just barely enough space for the dog to crawl up under and make his little <laughs> and make his little shade because it's always hot in South Carolina. Uh, always. I know that my wife got relatives there. I got relatives there. It's always hot, so the dog is always looking for shade <laughs> up under the cinder block. So you gotta understand the origin of that saying. If you can't run with the big dog, stay up under stay the porch. Up under the porch. Wow, well, mm-hmm. um, I'd like to get a history wanna, of that. Take this first. Um, I will start and say because I came actually, I came right before they came on the field. I don't know, I think I went to go do like a lunch break or something because Virginia State just gave me that much time. <laughs> I went to go do something and I came back and I was like, oh, I gotta see South Carolina State because then again, this was South Carolina State's second year mm-hmm. right. and we were wondering were they going to suffer, suffer from the Honda Curse. The curse. Right. Now for those not aware of the Honda Curse is the Honda Curse. Uh, Tell them what Linnell, will you explain it. All right, well, well, well let's talk about the Honda Curse. The Honda Curse is when a band comes to the Honda Battle of the Bands for the first year mm-hmm. and no one, well the, the Honda crowd isn't used to them so there's something new on the scene. Right. So you know they go out and, and it also makes the band put their fir- their best foot forward because right. it's their first time at Honda. So usually their show is very very well taken, the crowd just loves them and, and all of that stuff. Then the second year they come back is pretty much the thrill is gone. Mm-hmm. Uh, B.B. It, King. It, yeah, it's, it's happened. Mm-hmm. It happened with Lang- Texas Southern. Texas Southern. Lang- Lang- Prairie View. Langston. 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 Does anybody Wells. remember who Langston is right now? They were you the were band from West Oklahoma. State? Exactly. So yeah, yeah. No, that's always a key point. So it happens, and yeah. I, I was my younger sister marched for South Carolina State. So this would be my second time watching it. <laughs> this is so bad. Oh my god, <laughs> this is so bad. Now that I think about it, but um, so I had so I anticipated so much because last year they really really surprised me. I was mm-hmm. like, man. It's like watching Mars Brown all over again. And, you know, we don't it's have this, Mars right. Brown here. We don't have so Mars they're Brown. Gone. For those yeah. of y'all who didn't know, you know, the whole staff from Mars Brown went to South, South, South Carolina, Carolina State. State. They are mm-hmm. living it up in Orangeburg. And, right. and, and, and I think it's great because I feel I feel like a legacy has not died, but at the same time I feel like a legacy they're not building their own. Right. Like right. I, I, it's very it's mixed when, feelings. Yeah. yeah. So when they came out, um, they had this nice little video, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, and then I would say this, a lot of my uh, tweet friends, mm-hmm. they were saying like, you know, it's no point if him, you come into uh, Honda because everybody's going to do what we do. And, <laughs> I was like, oh, wait, fam, you did do a video. Yeah, that's kind of what the like, first ones do. Oh, Bethune did a video, too. I was yeah. like, okay, yeah. so I was like, yeah, I, I see what you're saying there. Okay, I get yeah. it. I get it. So they did um, a video, and it was like, okay, they're about to come on. Yeah, it was build. a really nice video. It was a nice good video. build up. Very really it was a great nice. Yeah, it it was. definitely was like, okay, we used our mass comm department to right. do this. It was, Creativity. This was a nice video. It was. And hey, it, the dome has video capabilities. Why not use it? Exactly. May as well. Okay. It's a show. Right. But they came out and said, we're going to show the diversity that we have and do a court style march. And it was good. The best thing about that court style display was the pit. It looked good. Yeah. That pit looked nice. And they played well, too. <laughs> like, the yeah, pit players made were playing. me want to go learn xylophone. I'm yeah. just going to throw it out there. Right. The pit looked nice. But mm-hmm. I felt like if you're going to build up and you're coming back as a second time, you need to come hard. Jackson right. State did this, Virginia State put us to sleep. You need to wake us back up. <laughs> right. This is what you need to do. And you're the biggest band there. Marching 101 did not do that. They. Yeah. You know, can I tell you a story about the xylophone real quick? I know this story relevant. <laughs> <laughs> but as a kid, you know, I was a big fan of Looney Tunes. Uh-huh. You know, Bugs Bunny, Yosemite Sam, uh, all those characters. 
Mm-hmm. And there's this skit with a road runner. I think Yosemite Sam, they're doing this thing. And Yosemite Sam has attached a bomb under a xylophone on a specific note. Oh, here we go. So it's like, yeah, play this tune. It's, and Bugs Bunny's reading the music, and it's like, dun 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 bling, bling, <laughs> bling, bling. <laughs> and I think it might have been Daffy Duck and Bugs Bunny. I think it is. Let me correct myself. <laughs> <laughs> so every time I think of bling, 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 and then Daffy Duck gets upset, and he's like, no, no, stupid, it's like this. Blah, 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 bling, bling, blah, and the whole thing blows up. Right. <laughs> so every time I see a xylophone, I can't help but think of that. So I was panicking on the side. <laughs> like, oh my God, don't play that beat flat. It's going to blow up. Don't play beat flat, South Carolina State. Oh my God. It's going to be a bomb in the dome. <laughs> Okay. Foolish. I'm sorry. Foolish. I mean, and, and you know what, Daffy Duck, he never got the respect that he deserved. He really you know, did. Because he was the I'm underdog. glad you recognize that. Under- yeah, because he was my man. Daffy Duck was my man, and he always got the short end of the stick. Right. And the writers of Looney Tunes need to know this. They need to hear this. You know, this, yeah. is, this is a serious issue. I mean, he know? had a short guy's complex. He had a Napoleon yeah. complex. And we have that in common. You know, right? hey. maybe that's maybe hey. that's why maybe that's why me and him, you know, we oh. connect so well. Oh man. So. Daffy certainly didn't get the respect he deserved. He didn't. It's just like you, you know. know, the personalities of 90 Degree Radio have ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> they will start the conversation talking about South Carolina State's band. Right. And they'll talk about Looney Tunes. Right. Because as soon as I saw the xylophones, I just was panicking like. Oh. Oh, is my it, gosh. Is there as he C4 run, as he was, attached to that as big he was running to the other side of the field to make sure. Because remember, he has to see the yeah, band come on. Community. Well, you know what? Fortunately for him, in this case, they were doing a they course They did a style. video. Yeah, they did a video. Everybody so they had, had time, time to get back. Around, and then right. the course style thing, which was so disappointing. Oh, yeah. my gosh. I mean, but y'all and forget. They, did, they, didn't ball, they, they didn't do the heel ball toe thing. Yeah, right. they, they, didn't. they didn't. They didn't. And that's one of the biggest things. The biggest problem. That I is have. the major yeah. th- component because, of course that. Course that yeah. right. Because I feel like if you're going to pump yourself up so much and brag so much about how diverse you are, at least look like you put some thought, some research, and some training behind it. But they obviously didn't do that. They just walked out and said, we're core style. I think the video spoke enough. You didn't even have to right. do the whole. Although mm-hmm. I appreciate it. You know, I other than the, the fact that I was panicking, thinking there was C4 <laughs> attached to the B-flat on the xylophone. Um, other than that panic attack, those several panic attacks I had about that. Um, you know, very similar to when I watch shows and see skydivers, I think as soon as they open the chute, the dishes are going to come out. Um, that's another Looney Tunes fear that I have. So. Other than the panic attacks that I was having, you know, I was saying to myself, I enjoyed the ensemble, mm-hmm. but did it really add to your show? Right. And I think, no, it did not add to your show. Because after you do a video like that, you got to come you, out. You have the presence. Mm-hmm. You have this huge have band on the field. You. you look clean. Your uniforms look clean. You all got silver instruments. Mm-hmm. Everything looks good. Everybody's like, okay, this is the rebirth of South Carolina State mm-hmm. University's Marching 101. Forget what you heard. We here right here. We're about to show you what we're about. Right. And then you do that fabulous video and the presence. Everybody's there. And then you let us all down with right. core style. Right. Yeah. We, we didn't yeah. come to see Bands of America. Right. We definitely did. We appreciate that, but our expectation is set on what to expect when we go see them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We came to see HBCU style marching. And honestly, right. you know, if North Carolina Central was there and they did, I, because that's what their style is. Yeah. Right. You're thing. used to that. You're, You're accustomed used to, see, to that, right. So it's, they it's have a not, myriad of styles. They always do them every show. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So you anticipate that from them. But for South Carolina State to come their second year in, you're mm-hmm. trying to prove something. Like you deserve right. to be here your second. This is just not a fan boat. You're trying to prove that, hey, we deserve to be here because right. we're just that awesome sauce. And the funny thing mm-hmm. is, even when North Carolina Central did it, it wasn't like, it wasn't greatly received. Right. You know? That's it was true. creative, and mm-hmm. people were quiet, and they appreciated it, and they politely applauded. Mm-hmm. That's true, but but it will they true. ever really get that type of interpretation? They won't get it, but you know if you go to a North Carolina Central game, that's what you're going to see. Right. right, you know that. You of course. That. That's but, what you anticipate. Right. But now, we're sitting in the stands, and we're watching South Carolina State right. do this. And because we have so much time to talk, because they're doing this course mm-hmm. style thing, Lonnie Be Good says... There's going to be some kind of gimmick. There has to be some kind of gimmick. There's, right. you know what, what can, what else can anybody possibly do? They're going to bring, somebody's going to bring out Lenny, B, Lenny Williams. 
How did you know that? I actually said that. He literally, if we had on gonna say, yeah, I, said, I said they're going to bring out Lenny Williams. I said, watch them bring out Lenny Williams. And did you, did because we were going through the gimmicks. We were going through yeah. the list of gimmicks. Like, I was going to be a fat guy. I'm sorry, an obese person, uh, dancing or <laughs> something, or a lady in a wig. We were yeah. going through all the different possible scenarios mm-hmm. of right. gimmicks. Because that's you, what Morris Brown used to do. Yeah, exactly. So, Pete we were Pablo. Is that, right. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, people don't really realize how much singing Petey Pablo did in Joe Mar- <laughs> They Maybe they just got caught up in the hype. But Petey Pablo did a lot of singing and he's not in a front singer. of that band. Right. He didn't sing. He's not a singer. <laughs> I told <laughs> you. It was about to happen. <laughs> y'all, y'all didn't listen to me. <laughs> ah, it was like a lot of... Like a lot of growling. Yeah. yeah, he made his money's worth. I made it. Wow, wow. He, he made his money's worth. Peter Pablo, you just, you just, you just took on another career in front of Morris Brown, <laughs> right? You did it. Oh, yeah. OMG. <laughs> it was, it was really funny. It was really. Go back and look at Drumline and listen to how much singing Petey Pablo did. You know, it was just funny. But you, but you know, Morris Brown is going to be infamous for a gimmick. Right, so, right. With mm-hmm. the band, same band style being the Morris Brown going to South Carolina State, right? You expect the gimmick. Lana be good, you called it. I actually called it. Now, what made you think Lenny Williams specifically now, was going to be there? Now, I, I didn't think, I, I, I don't know. Well, this, this, this is what was going through my mind. Mm-hmm. Walk with me here. Walk with me. Okay, I'm I said, okay, it's South Carolina State. I said, they're going to bring somebody out. They've already done Petey Pablo. <laughs> now, I said, I, now, I don't know if, um, um, the, what's the song that Morris Brown does? The, one? the one that Spotlight Spotlight Guru. Spotlight, Spotlight Guru. Guru, right. I don't know if that was before or after Lenny Williams. It was before. It was before okay. Yeah. yeah. So I said, okay, so they're obviously in Morris Brown mode. Who can they bring out that would relate to Morris Brown? Huh. You know, that yeah, would be that a gimmick. That was a enough. band head thinking yeah, measure said, there. Yeah, that was serious. Yeah. Because even though they did the little core style thing, I was still giving them the benefit of the doubt. I said, they're okay, they're, 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 right. you know, they're, they're putting their own stamp on the world, you know? Right. Then they did this spotlight groove. I said, up, oh, we're back in Atlanta, Hurden Stadium. Right. So, so who can they bring out? They they can't call Petey because they've already used Petey. I said they're gonna bring out Lenny Williams. <laughs> and lo and behold, when he said that this red suit walks out onto the field. No, no, no. Well, first you got the two little kids. So two little kids come out. Can you, band director? Can you play this for my girlfriend? So we're like. Oh, this is so lame. Yeah. Oh, and man. all of a sudden, the train it is, is in motion. The <laughs> Lady Williams. <laughs> and for the entire four or five minutes of that song, we have Speechless. nothing to say. He did Speechless. almost the whole song. We have nothing to say. You know what? And that raises another point that I always talk about. Come on, we all have been in band programs. I was on the show planning committee, dance routine mm-hmm. committee. Yeah, me too. We've all been that at our respective high schools and colleges. There is a science to how you put on a halftime show. And that is so true. There is a theme sometimes. You know, mm-hmm. sometimes you don't fit into the theme of what it is. You just do a bunch of randomness. Mm-hmm. But you still, it still is in some kind of Cohesive category. Cohesive something. Cohesive right. something. Right. right. But when you, and I say that to say, a lot of times, I see, I see performers do this all the time. Mm-hmm. I'm like... You want to introduce a new song or something original that you think it is, and you have these three minutes on TV to give a whole new audience a chance to see you in a light they've never seen you in before, and you choose to do two minutes and 45 seconds (laughs) of this new song that nobody really knows (laughs) and nobody really likes. (laughs) Right, the locals. And it's like, yeah, you're trying to use it as an opportunity to promote your newness or whatever that is. And a lot of these cats just don't understand how to jump in and out of songs. Right. Usually the best performers will give you a quick little bit of everything that they've done, everything that you know them for. And transition. They're just... The transitions. Right. Yeah. So when you bring Lenny Williams out, as much as I love Lenny... <laughs> He should have did like the chorus. I'm like, come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. You, you got to start at a certain point in the song. Everybody wants to hear the high notes. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, as black people, right, and the O O O's repeatedly. Yeah, and that could have cut it. Come on, we right you do that. that. You take about a minute or two. You do that, and you let Lenny get out of there so he can get that red suit off as soon as possible. Because he tried to take it off on the field. Yeah, he, tried yeah, he did. Because yeah, yeah, that's what he does in his concerts. Mm-hmm. You know, because people still go crazy in his demographic when he just takes his jacket off. I thank you for letting us know who didn't know he was still alive. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, but ain't that sad? Though? Ain't that sad? It's, it, when we see, oh, we we so used to our. Singers dying. Our soul singers, our black singers, 
Die. When you see somebody perform, you hear Lady Williams like, he's still alive? Right. <laughs> like that. So we thank you for that. I, I appreciate We appreciate Brittany White. Thank y'all for letting us know that he ain't dead. Brittany he is Lenny an unsung life. hero. <laughs> Everybody on Malico Records, that's who do all the gospel in the old school, time life stuff, they all did. You know? And we just be like, damn, I didn't know he was still alive. Yeah, <laughs> just waiting. Oh, okay. You know, oh man! I mean, in, in all fairness, you know, and, and rest in peace, brother. I love him to death. No mean to be insensitive, but even when Don Cornelius just died, people was like, "I ain't, he wasn't dead." Right. True. Right. People always ask. Mm -hmm. You know, we are just not abreast on uh, <laughs> uh, as a as as an African American community. Yeah. And as lovers of soul music. We don't know who's still living and who dead. Same, people same know, thing like, with Vesta Williams. We're saying the clear people know yeah. that Dolly Parton is alive. Right. Well, yeah. she might be mm -hmm. pushing eighty, but she looks twenty with the boobies and all whatnot. So I'm just <laughs> saying. Look, uh, well, not twenty. We'll say four G. But <laughs> the people, the people know. They, know, they can tell you know. her most recent song. Madonna is what fifty four. Yeah, Madonna's right there, and she's doing the Super Bowl. She just, she just, came, she just came out with another single with Nicki Minaj and right. Ray. Yeah, after she did a series of children's books. <laughs> <laughs> now you come out with Madonna. MIA who uses a semi-automatic pistol in every remix of every song she's ever made and Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj. whose name just pretty much says You were stupid <laughs> right. stupid stupid yeah, yeah. Well, I'm it, just saying you know, individually make, those artists are own great in their own respect but when you put them all together like that <laughs> make your money Madonna, Madonna. Right. Madonna. <laughs> Am I? Yeah, yeah, they know. I hey, you gotta yes, do what you gotta do to stay relevant. But so, actually, the Apple end, Williams, the happened? end. What? South Carolina State had a very nice sideline blowdown. They, they did. did okay, well. okay, they did. They, they did. did one of and that's what brought me back down to earth. That they this, did. okay, this is actually a pretty talented band because. Yeah. Throughout the circus that is their sh or that was their show, they mm -hmm. lost me. I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, there's videos. There's a corpse style attempt. There's yeah. Lenny Williams. There's Spotlight Groove. It wasn't to the very end that I said, okay, this is South Carolina State, and they're actually a pretty talented band. Mm -hmm. Right. You know? And the drum majors marched the full time. And the they drum did. majors marched the full time. They and did. that's a, that's an ongoing debate in the marching band community. How many gimmicks is too many gimmicks? Right. Like, did, did South Carolina State have too many gimmicks to where it overshadowed the, the quality of what could have been their show? Right. Mm. And I, I think it did. Right. Because, you know, I mean, at the Florida they Classic, for example, for the Florida Classic, FAMU and BCU, we pull out all the stuff, but it's usually one gimmick, maybe one and a half. Right. You might get a video and a performer or something right. like that. But you know, video that's a video followers. and a performer. <laughs> right. And a uh, and Lady 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 <laughs> Right. It's just and a And a tribute to Morris yeah. Brown, which it's, may not have not been your intent, right. but we, I did say this. Uh, Mr. Ellis. Um, Mr. Ellis. Someone told Dr. him. Dr. Ellis, whoever. Mm -hmm. you, whatever you're going about these days. Right. When you first wrote, wrote Spotlight Groove out, mm -hmm. they were like, okay, you know what? That's it. That's yeah. that jerk. Wherever you go, don't you ever retire. Take it with you right. and play it. And lo and behold, did he not take that advice? Hey, <laughs> if no other advice. Hey, he took if he that. He didn't take anything else he from took, Morris Brown's band room. <laughs> I need all original copies. So Spotlight, Spotlight Groove. Groove. Spotlight Groove. <laughs> I need those back. Right. Matter of fact, the first drum, the first uh, section leaders that played this, you come back, you mm -hmm. come to Orangeburg, mm -hmm. and you teach these kids how right. to play this. He keeps the original copy, because lock and key. In I his really briefcase. felt like if I closed my eyes right then and there, I was like ten years old at a Morris Brown game. Right. Yeah. That's what I felt. Right. And I'm gonna tell you, you can't. I mean, when you hear Spotlight Groove, that's Morris Brown. Yeah. All day. All day. That's Morris Brown all day long. Stadium. I specifically remember 2,000 Morris Brown, about 300 or something members, mm -hmm. and just blowing it down. Yeah, that that is that's a Morris Brown original forever. You can take it wherever you want to take it, mm -hmm. and I understand its logic. I get it. Um, that's what I know. But hey, but that's always gonna be a Morris Brown original. Hey, always. if you're gonna bring something back from our play, Disney right. Lover. Oh. And I live to see the day that Morris Brown is back at 300 plus band members and their Instead university. Of these small little ensemble groups. Yes, it's, it's a little weird. It's traveling in weird. It's weird. The it is fact a that you weird. can go by the school and it says operating hours nine to five. I've never Whoa. seen operating hours of any collegiate anything. Yeah, right. But yeah. you go by. I want then you they, to know this when we here. Yeah, it's, it's rough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you know what? I'll say this: yeah. that their alumni band or whatever mm -hmm. always. They proud. And, yeah. and they always having some kind of fundraiser. Yep. Yeah. Anytime there's a Falcons game, 
steam or some kind of dome function yeah. and you see that big purple or something and you see big jeff flagging down big <laughs> jeff. it's, it's like it's, they are proud yeah and, and you got to respect that you got you know? to respect it that's I, a lot of pride right one program that's a lot of pride yeah. and, but it's still weird you know, <laughs> it's still weird to see the small ensembles. It, oh gosh! And I, they walk around like we three hundred D because mm-hmm. we're Morris Brown. But you know, I we think Moby. Is, mm-hmm. it, is it is something that Brown? more so we'll say because we were saying earlier that like the marching band world, the respect level of it, but the fact that people don't realize that these are worlds within worlds. Right. These people on campus were probably like gods and goddesses. Like right. you're a drum major at Mars Brown. Right. Dude, right. like seriously. Right. You're mm-hmm. you're a uh, brown what are the girls? Mar- the, uh, bubbling bubbling brown, brown, sugar. brown sugar. Yes indeed. Like that's what I'm saying. So it is people don't understand, I guess if you go into this program, you automatically feel like I have something to live up to. And right. maybe these small ensemble groups as I would call them because right. until I actually see you know, that same Mars Brown. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, if all the alumni of Moby could come back for one. It would be interesting. Um, I'd, I'd pay for it, you know. I'd pay, I would. I'd pay I would. for a ticket. I, I, I said to, to myself, I'm so sick of having to travel two hours or four hours during band season to see a collegiate marching band. Yeah. I loved that around 2000 when Morris Brown was playing Grambling and they were playing. Oh, yeah. um, I went to that game. Bethune Cookman. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm like, Atlanta they, has is the mecca it. for bands. But this is they, how our programs in our surrounding counties, this is where, this is what they saw. Right, right. Granted, we have all the influences from these different HBCUs that come back and they give something to the programs, but what we had at home was right. Mars Brown. Right. That's what we that looked at. And that's what we grew up to. That's what we saw and that's what we idolized to want to actually go and do. And then when we knew that we could do it somewhere else mm-hmm. and still come back, it was like, okay, great. And we don't have it anymore. Right. Cause, cause yeah. Like Slay like said, Morris Brown brought the brought the, the headliners to Atlanta. They did. You know, they brought Bethune. They brought South Carolina State one year. They brought Grambling yep. one year. They played FAMU uh, a couple times. They did. They sure yeah. did. And it was, uh, it was one time, I think, was one time they played, yeah, they played FAMU at, in, at, in FAMU, in Tallahassee. Yeah, Tallahassee. And it was like, and, and you know, I'm, I'm a band head first before I'm a FAMU. You know, right. we all are, are band heads before we are whatever we are at our respective mm-hmm. colleges. Right. I'm just like, as a citizen of Atlanta, as a band head that lives in Atlanta, I want to be able to travel downtown, mm-hmm. eight miles from Decatur, during band season, and see a good college marching band. There's no reason why. I mean, we, we've seen Clark. Right. Clark is what they are, you know? Yeah. I think that, you know, we've seen Morehouse. I think both of those programs, with all due respect, are just a little stunning in terms of their growth. Maybe right. they should just collaborate. Right. They got a lot of heart, that. you yeah. know? They should just come together. Yeah. Well, i tell you one that. good thing about Morehouse. Blake Gaines is over there now. Mm-hmm. Okay. Blake Gaines went to Southern and Jackson State, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. And he is over there. He's been, I think, he just finished his second year. And he's saying that this next year is going to be his breakout year for, for Morehouse. So hopefully we'll see some good things from them. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know what's happening at Clark. Clark to me has been kind of like in the same stunted. Right. Which is crazy because they produce a lot of really good band directors. They do. Yeah. They produce they really a slew do. of great well, see, band directors that go to these really high do. schools yeah. and these and collegiate they, levels and they do well. Yeah. And all the graduates and all the students have a lot of heart. They're great mm-hmm. musicians. Mm-hmm. But why can't the program grow beyond what it's been? You know, we all know that Clark is a chicken box. They only right. like 100, 120 right. members of what? Always. They always blowing. They always got mm-hmm. a lot of heart. But it's like, why can't Clark Atlanta be? We, we know it's problems within the Atlanta University system mm-hmm. that keep them from growing to the HBCU that really is on the map. Right. You know. It's that and, tuition, probably. And, and, and probably. And it's it, the tuition. It's probably, that is the most expensive probably, school it, at the AUC. For no of, reason. It's, it's, right. You, you're you're but, sitting in between Morehouse and, and Spell. Right, right. These elite, elite schools. Right. That's probably why they have high tuition. Mm-hmm. And like, it's like you're trying to, I don't know, you're trying mm-hmm. to compete with the Joneses, but bruh. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's like, and at one point in time, Clark was small, but they were putting some quality sound on the field right. back when um, Young was the director. Yeah, um, Cedric Young. Where's he now? He's at West Lake. Mm-hmm. He's the band right there. Right. Young, yeah. Yeah. Said Young is, is, is doing a lot of gigging now. Picked mm-hmm. his horn back up from yeah. what I understand. Yeah, he, he has. Yeah. Wow. And, and back then, you know, Clark was doing their thing, uh, going toe-to-toe with Morris Brown. A couple, a couple of uh, matchups I had right. seen. 
But, um, but that was a, that was a big game too. Yeah, and see, I think what happened was they stopped offering the music education degree. If I'm not mistaken, that, is, that can kill the marching band uh, program. Yeah. And that, that, and my they cousin transferred from Clark Atlanta to Livingston of all places Oof, to finish Livingston. his wow. exactly yeah. to finish his music education degree because they canceled the program in the middle of yeah. like his senior That's not year. Something. That'll do it. They yeah. haven't been back since. Yeah. And I think uh, T.J. Warner is over there now. He yeah. used to be a drum major at Morse, Morse Brown. Brown. Right, T.J. Right. Shout out to TJ, mm -hmm. but in uh, but you know I want to say this about South Carolina State. Um, wow, South Carolina State, know. right? We got <laughs> hey, everything HBCU. branches off. <laughs> all, all HBCUs are connected, you know. Yeah, we are attention deficit. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, South Carolina State, I just want to say this: they have the most. I think it's them and Bethune Cookman. I think South Carolina State has the most exciting theme. Song in black college football. Yeah, it's possible. The Get Up for the Bulldogs is a crump mm -hmm. piece, yeah, and it's, it's certainly crump. a crump piece to use in your exit tune. Very you crump. Know. You they know it. Play it is right. These guys. You know yeah. it. So that's an original to South Carolina State, mm -hmm. and they did play that at the end after all the O O O's went on with Lenny Williams. <laughs> so that probably <laughs> added to that. Probably certainly helped you think. All right, here are the musicians. Here they are. They back right. in full effect. Right. You know. So it's it's a funny deal, you right, know? right? It's a real funny deal. It's just like stick to what's original, y'all. Right. Stick right. to what's original, man. You right. know, I think they had the presence. Mm -hmm. They had a big enough band there. So with the band huge, in the video, huge. I just this the something something just went wrong with the show plan. Yeah. You know, with the thought in the show plan. That's that's where something right. went awry. You know. Good song, man. I mean, good sound. The quality was definitely there. Good just, presence, but just. Something went wrong along the way, and a right. lot of people probably felt like you felt like, ah, yeah. oh, this is in Morris Brown, you know. Right, right. Until they played the original theme song, and then that picked things back up. They had a good exit, mm -hmm. and usually, you know, it's a good strategy. You start strong with the mm -hmm. video, you end strong with your theme song. Yeah, got to blow down on the sidelines. It good was show. It was know? definitely too much within the meat of the show that distracted from what was going on. That's what I think. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Let's take a little commercial break here, man. We'll be back with ninety degree radio. Bandroomnation.com. Yeah, man. <laughs> 